Adolf Eichmann was an SS officer and one of the major organizers of the Holocaust that killed 6 million Jews during World War II. At the end of the war, he was captured by US forces but was able to escape and hide in France for several years. Thereafter, he managed to obtain false documents and escaped to Argentina from Genoa via a ship in 1950. When Jewish Nazi hunter Simon Wiesenthal learned that Adolf Eichmann was spotted in Buenos Aires, he informed the Israeli consulate in 1954. In 1956, Sylvia Hermann, daughter of Lothar Hermann, a Jewish German, happened to be dating a man named Klaus Eichmann, who boasted about his father's Nazi exploits. During a visit to his house, she was met at the door by Adolf Eichmann himself, who said that he was Klaus' uncle. However, she noticed Klaus addressing him as father. The information soon made its way to Issel Harl, director of Israel's external intelligence agency, Mossad. Israel wanted to bring him in for a trial, but there was a problem. Argentina had a history of rejecting extradition requests for Nazi criminals. As such, a covert operation to capture the Nazi criminal was approved by then Israeli Prime Minister David Ben-Gurion. An eight-man team of operatives from Mossad and Shin Bet, led by Rafi Eaton, arrived in Buenos Aires. The team observed Adolf Eichmann and his daily routines for many days, planning for the right moment to capture him. The team finally decided to make their move. Knowing that Eichmann was supposed to alight from a bus along Garibaldi Street, they took up position and lie in wait. After Eichmann had alighted from his bus, a Mossad agent approached him, asking him if he had a moment in Spanish. Eichmann was afraid and tried to leave. That's when another two agents appeared. The three men wrestled him, dragged him into a car and covered him with a blanket. He was brought to a Mossad safe house where they verified his identity. And now all that is left is to bring him to Israel. Eichmann was sedated, dressed as a flight attendant and put on an aircraft that had recently brought an Israeli delegation to Argentina. Just like that, Eichmann was flown to Israel and the operation was a success. During Eichmann's trial, he showed no remorse for his actions saying, I was not a responsible leader, and as such do not feel myself guilty. He was convicted of a total of 15 crimes against humanity, war crimes, and crimes against the Jewish people, and was sentenced to death by hanging in 1962. While Argentina was enraged by this operation, both Israel and Argentina had resolved the dispute. In 2006, Declassified documents revealed that US intelligence and West German intelligence had known that Eichmann was hiding in Argentina, but did not act because it did not serve their interests during the Cold War.